hi guys hope you're all fine i took a break from content creation as i was facing some health issues but i'm back now if you are interested in gaming you can check my new channel here where i will be doing walkthroughs for games hope you guys subscribe it in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can do character lighting inside blender using ev you can also use blender but in this tutorial i will be using ev as you can see it it's a very high poly character and i made it in separate parts you can buy it on my Patreon page where you will be able to get a lot of more uh, assets and which I have used in my YouTube tutorials. Before starting, I just want to let you know about three point lighting, which is a traditional method for illuminating a subject in a scene with light source from three distinct position. The three types of light are key light, fill light and backlight. So here is an example of key light. This is a primary and brightest light source in the three point lighting setup. It gives a scene its overall exposure. You can use it to create very moody scene with the deep shadows and high contrast. Try to use it on 45 degree and you will get shadows opposite to the side of the subject. Now this is an example of fill light. The fill light is used to fill the shadows that the key light creates bringing out the details in the darkness. It is less bright light compared to the key light. You can also use it as a reflector or bounce card or wall where light coming from the key light bounces back to fill the shadows. Now this is an, an example of a backlight, I call it rim light. It's the third source of light that shines the subject from behind and creates outline around the head that separates the subject from the background and gives a sense of depth. If we combine all of these lights, we will get this image. So here's how you can do it in Blender. As you can see that I have some MSD material with no lighting. So for the lighting, I first add 3D cursor to the head of the mesh and then choose area light. You can use point light or spotlight, but I feel that area light works better. I just move it on Z axis and then in front of the face. It's one point lighting. You can use it to create dramatic lighting effect. You can choose warm or cool color with high uh, intensity for key light now add empty to the scene move it up on z axis and uh, parent this uh, with the key light it will help you later to change the lighting scenario and will help you to create template for lighting after that just move key light slightly to the right of the subject and rotate it so it faces the subject now if you rotate the empty on z axis you can rotate the area light on empty's axis for the rim light, I'm going to duplicate the area light, then change the pivot to 3D cursor so that we can manually change the position or rotation of the area light. Uh, now just place it on left and back side of the subject, then change its color and increase the strength of it. If you are using cool color for key light, then choose warm color for rim light. Try to learn more about color theory. It will help you to create mood for your scene and will help you in lighting. It all depends on what mood you want for your scene. I'm duplicating it again and moving it to the right back side of the subject. I wanted to have more rim light from back of the subject. You can use several light and change their color too. For fill light, what I do is choose the developer mode. You will be able to see which one looks good. But here I'm using an HDR of my subway scene. After plugging it into the world setting, you will see that it will appear in the background. To hide the background, add a sphere in scene and scale it up to cover the background. Now apply material to it and increase the transition value to 1. You can change the roughness value to 0 to have full sharp or, uh, or increase it to have blur background. Then you can change the diffuse value from white to black to change the brightness of the background. And that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe to my channel to support me or you can also support on my Patreon page where you will be able to get a lot of assets that I have used in my tutorials. Thanks for watching.